Hi Danish learner, welcome back to my channel Danish Matters. I'm Tina Baka, your Danish friend and tutor. Today, when I'm recording this video, it's November 1st. And when you're watching this, it's November 3rd. Today is a very beautiful autumn day, but as we all know, we're in for rather windy, rainy, <laughs> cold weather in the time to come. Um, November is usually uh, a very wet month, right? Um, when I talk to my students about their year in Denmark and uh, we uh, get to November, I ask them, how long have you been here? Have you been here? Um, is, is November, uh, is it the first time that you're here during the month of November? And uh, if they say yes, um, I uh, try to encourage them to have something to do in the month of November, something planned, something nice and cozy. Because um, as we know, we who have lived here either all of our lives or um, most of our lives or uh, a lot of time, a long time, we know that November is a pretty hard month to get through. Um, Christmas is uh, still yet to come, which is nice. It's uh, regardless of our faith, it's a cozy time of year, right? And December is a cozy, uh, cozy month, although also maybe stressful, but cozy, no, nevertheless, or nonetheless. Um, but November seems like a very long month, and um, there is actually a Danish uh, poet or author, Henrik Norpant, who actually died this year, the beginning of this year, who um, wrote a poem, and it goes. All har 16 måneder. November, december, januar, februar, marts, april, maj, juni, juli, august, september, oktober. November, 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 november. <laughs> and um, as you could hear, I don't think I have to translate the months. I think you uh, recognize them uh, from English because they're very similar. But as you could hear, uh, this pretty much sums up the feeling of the month of November, right? Because it seems so long. It feels so long. Um, and just for the record, normally we would not start by saying our months starting in November or even December. We would start in January. Um, it's different from uh, our weekdays. We would say that the week starts on a Monday, whereas in uh, the English-speaking world, often the, the week starts uh, on a Sunday, right? That's a bit confusing uh, to Danes because ours starts on uh, on a Monday. Um, but our year, it, start, it does start in January. But uh, yeah, so here, um, we just add another <laughs> four months to our year because November seems so long. It's actually only in recent years that uh, I've been thinking about that November is actually an autumn month and not a winter month. Because to me, although it's sunny today, it's uh, not gonna keep on being sunny and uh, later during this month it's definitely gonna feel like winter. So I've often, uh, I have normally uh, thought of November as a winter month and then only recently I thought, okay right, Winter is actually from December and not from November. So uh, yeah, you learn uh, all throughout life. Um, and uh, November is an autumn month, a fall month. But uh, I would normally speak to my students about planning something because it seems such a long month. So what do you have planned? Can we uh, maybe um, communicate this to each other? Write it in the comments, yeah, down below write your ideas about activities to do in the month of November. Um, it's always good, of course, to gather with family and friends to have a nice time. I like to snuggle up with lots of different good books and have either tea or cocoa or other nice uh, beverages. Um, and uh, it's a good idea to plan something maybe also outside the house, but maybe that takes place indoors. Um, today I'm actually going to see the Museum uh, of uh, Happiness, um, Lücke Musil, but that's with uh, my other type of job, a DIS, a study abroad program, but that's uh, a nice thing to do here in November, I think. Um, and uh, also I can recommend uh, reading the books, uh, the little book of Hücke and the little book of Lücke, 
those are just cozy books to read during this time and there's also plenty of Danish humor in it if you like that so uh, yeah those are my recommendations and I also saw actually that this Sunday you can go to any Nordisk film biograph so any cinemas uh, within Nordisk film and watch a movie for only 60 tres, yeah only 60 Danish kroner so that's also something to do watch movies go to the cinema um, I don't know what you do. Maybe you have hobbies that you would like to indulge more in. Um, I like to write. I write different things. I like to read a lot. I do that all year round, but definitely during autumn and winter. I really like to uh, read a lot of different things. That is, um, I think it's, it's this time of year. It's also a time to go inward. Yeah, to go inside your own your own mind, your own heart, your own person, and um, be a little reflective about your your life, yourself, people around you. Yeah, it's um, it's it's also something that you can do because the time really opens up for it, right? Because there's not much to do outside, at least not um, in a in a little while. Um, so that is also something that you can spend this time of year doing. And if you have a faith, that's also something to go into. Yeah. So um, those are some of my recommendations, but I'm sure that you have lots of other things to recommend to do during the month of November. If you also find this month very long, write it down below in the comments. If you're one of those people who like to learn new things or progress in some area, uh, during this time of year and if that area is Danish you can of course also contact me tina at danishmatters.dk we can tailor a course for you you don't have to uh, pick one on the course list on my website it really is a matter of creating the best course for your needs your challenges so write to tina at danishmatters.dk and I just got left to say happy Danish learning <laughs>